welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back for part two of this vlog. Um, yeah, my name's Deja Harris. And if you're new here, I live in Seattle. I'm 28 years old. And currently we are going home from work. And yes, so that's why I look all smushed in the seat and stuffed. So yes. Long story short, the last vlog was extremely too long. Like it was about to be like an hour and like 30 minutes. I was like, okay, how can we have a vlog for this week and get a vlog for next week? So I will be inserting the rest of that footage here in this vlog. And yes, less work that I have to film, but then that means I just get the clips up for the next start filming the next vlog to get that situated for the following week after this since this is going to be a two-parter this is the second part and yes so i can't wait to get that footage done i did it took me i'll be honest it literally took me three hours to like edit get to the point of like three hours i got to the point where it was like the three hour mark and i was like okay this is too much footage I need to cut down some of this footage because it, I should not have been at the three hour mark of editing this footage. It usually takes me about like roughly two hours to do a rough cut. And then I go back in at like, take a, another two hours to do, um, it takes me another two hours to like get the final touches on the vlog and, um, yeah, it just takes me a couple touches to get the final touches of the vlog and get it done. It was just too much. And I did not want to have so much footage that YouTube wasn't doing it, pushing it out to enough people. And I just want to make sure that I'm consistent with the amount of time each vlog is and making sure that it's less than 30 minutes and not a full hour and 30 minutes. I'm changing up my formula right now. So, yes. And yes, as a lifestyle vlogger, when I do get to that point where I've like been doing YouTube for, I wanna say five plus years, and like I have a substantial standing of people, of course, we'll have like an hour and 30 minute vlogs. We'll have like five hours, not five hours, but like an hour, 30 minute to two hour vlog for you guys. I'm not there yet, and I just wanna keep it cute, cute and simple, and I don't wanna be difficult. So, Yes, uh, yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys later, or you know what, I'm not even gonna catch up, I'm just gonna insert the rest of this footage for you guys, and I'm excited to keep going, and thank you for all of the current people that are still here, and all of the new people, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy this vlog, bye! Good morning, guys, you girls up, I already did like my whole, you know, skincare routine, and stuff you know with the serums the lotions the sunscreens and my like eye cream and toner and stuff now i just have to honestly do like my makeup that i have to put on and then put some lotion and perfume on it oil my scalp and i'll be good to go but good morning we're heading out to work at this time we're getting ready to go to work we're about to do that honestly and yes um so yeah this is me i will see y'all in the car because i gotta rush i gotta be out of here by 7 55 and we can't be taking forever today so yes okay welcome not even welcome hey y'all so i am finally leaving work I had to double check to make sure my badge was off but I'm finally leaving work. Work was okay. It was good. I am honestly tired and ready to go home. But we got to go pick Jim and I up to take him to the park. And then we will go to the Goodwill to drop this stuff off in the front seat. Because as y'all know, we can drop it off in the morning. So that morning last night because we had like made it to the goodwill at um what time did we make it to the goodwill at seven o'clock at like 7 14 and goodwill was closed 
So we're gonna go do that. And now we're just headed home. About to be in traffic, going back home because it is rush hour and everybody in America likes to get off at this time in Washington and it's Monday. So you know, you know if you know if you live in Seattle that the traffic is a hot ass mess. Oh so, yeah. Ugh. So yeah, we're heading home and we're gonna go pick Jim and I up and go to the Goodwill and then most likely go in the house and just make some dinner and get ourselves ready and chill and watch TV and be at peace. So yes, I will catch up with y'all in a minute because like I feel like I have nothing to talk about and like I don't want to sit and gab or anything on the thing for too long. I don't want to be that girl that sits and talks forever, if that makes sense. Okay guys, so just came from dropping stuff off at Goodwill, went to the QFC, and then I went to Costco. I got tricked into buying peaches. I don't even know. Like, I think it was just like this old man was like, it's peaches season. And then I was like, oh, maybe I could get it at the end of the month. And he's like, this is the end of the season. And the worker's like, oh, you ain't gonna get it next month. Like, they're not gonna have it. So I was just like, oh, okay. Like, so I guess there's no peaches that are gonna be there in the month of October. So I grabbed some peaches and now we have peaches when I could have used that like extra ten dollars to get something other than peaches so now we have peaches and now we got to figure out what we're gonna eat with peaches like i guess we're gonna be making a cobbler a crisp i don't even know like i just i i don't even cook peaches i don't even eat peaches on the regular i guess i'm making some jam in the process of this because like now we have to like get rid of these peaches now so i guess we're gonna have a peach jam at some point so we'll get peaches mm, yeah i guess we'll have peaches i don't cook peaches like that so plus like i don't even eat peaches like that so this is going to be very interesting that i have to like now cook some peaches and i'm just like like dang I could have got these next month but apparently they'll be out of season so okay so yeah and I don't know like comment down below what I could make with peaches yeah let me know what we could make with peaches because now I have a crap ton of peaches and I don't know what to make with peaches when I could have got some cheese with those peaches. We could have had cheese with those peaches. Could have had cheese. I could have brought cheese instead of peaches. So, yep. Alrighty guys, I will catch up with y'all in a minute. I'll talk to you when I get in the house to show you these damn peaches that I got that like all honesty, this is interesting, so. Oh, and also I went to the McDonald's to get me a little snacky snack with my points. Gemini is in the car. There goes Gemini looking all cute, being the king of following. Right now he's scratching his butt, but hey. He likes to sit on the mat when I come in the bathroom just to be in here with me as usual. He's very close, clingy puppy. Bye-bye. Look how cool he is. There we go. We all had to get our daily dose of Gemini. Aww. Now he's cleaning the rug, but all right. So I just wanted to get that cute clip of him. All right, guys. I just wanted to show y'all the peaches as well that I got roped into buying. Uh, but here are the peaches from Costco. They're firm. Oh, and they smell really, really sweet. So I'm guessing they're ripe and ready to go so it's looking like we're about to have some a peach crisp and some jam 
that's what's going on here. This one, when we were getting out of the car, he smelled peaches. I gave him a peach to smell. And he licked one of my peaches. But there was a peach for him and he sniffed it. So he licked the peach, but it's okay. I'm going to end up peeling the peaches anyways. But we have peaches. And they look good. They look healthy. So, yep. I just want to get like, uh, I'm trying to get like a cover thing of the peaches. So then that way they can go on the, I need a, um, I can't even think, you know, the cover page that you put on for like YouTube and stuff for videos, the peaches made it. So I just want to like get the peaches in there and make sure they make it to the on the picture as well but me and jim and i are about to just sit and chill this afternoon as you can see the sun is out and glistening there's mr jim and i licking himself in his little spot i think tomorrow i'm gonna let him be out of his crate by himself in the house tomorrow i just need to make sure that the windows are closed so like no accidents happen and he's not like jumping out the window being crazy so yeah and then i think i'll set like the camera up like over here in that area so i could see him he likes laying on the couch and stuff or sometimes he'll come lay right here when i'm home but i think he's old enough now to be at home by himself outside of the crate we're just going to do a test run to make sure that he doesn't um tear the house up that makes sense like destroy the house that's what I'm worried about. Like, I'm really worried he's gonna destroy something and I'm gonna be really, really upset and stressed. So, yeah. So tomorrow's gonna be his first day out of his crate. He excited. Look at his little ears. He listening to me. So, yep. And I normally, when he's home alone by himself, I have PBS Kids on as like noise for him so he can hear it. And then we'll just sit and um, sit and chill and just be at peace and Gemini sit and be at peace and listen to the noise when he's in here in his crate. So he is old enough to be at home by himself now, but he does have his like, he does have, what is it? Does have PBS kids on for him to watch and listen to. That's his usual noise, background noise. So he has noise. He can't be in the house by himself in quietness. Like that's just too much for him. So, oh, there he goes. He's on the run. I guess there was like a little reflection of light that my phone did and he likes to chase the little thing. So, ah, oh, my baby's so big. And also I scheduled his doctor's appointment for the end of the month for his SHOTs. So yeah. He doesn't like the word uh, being said. He gets very anxious and nervous and I don't want him to be stressed out when he goes and gets his little H S H O T. So yeah, but other than that, me and Jim are about to sit and chill, watch some YouTube, watch some uh, Netflix, maybe watch some Prime video and just sit and chill. He being so cute, he's the cutest puppy. All right, bye guys. Okay guys, hey, I'm back. Just got off of work. I am coming on to end this vlog because when your girl gets home, she has to edit and, oh, my boobs look huge. She has to edit and get this vlog all ready for Friday and I don't want to spend tomorrow spending six hours trying to edit a vlog 
that long because it takes forever to edit and I don't want to spend that long trying to edit a vlog okay so we're ending it now thanks for let's do little cliff notes I had to fix the camera do a little cliff notes the camera's just like wiggling everywhere because we are driving but today was a good day at work I am really tired I gotta get home to edit a vlog and Gemini was able to be outside of his crate today he was outside of his crate twice two days in a row Gemini was out of his crate two days in a row and he did really really well he didn't pee anywhere he didn't throw up he didn't poop anywhere he just mainly laid on the couch I think I got a video yes I did before this clip there will be a video of Gemini just chilling on the couch sleep I spend my entire day watching my child sleep I am a true mother <laughs> okay but um he does he slept all he sleeps all day pretty much he did spend a lot of the morning this morning um he did spend yesterday he slept all morning and he slept all afternoon until I got home then today he was up moving around a lot this morning and looking out the window a lot I guess something was going on that was calling his attention to look out the window I did see him do his little roofs with his lips closed you know but he wasn't opening his mouth to bark out so but he did kept looking over his shoulder to make sure I wasn't coming around the corner telling him to um to stop his barking and stuff so yeah but other than that Gemini has is having a positive experience doing that and that's a plus so I'm glad so yeah so I'm glad that he's having a positive experience and that he's happy with being outside of his crate because usually he is inside of his crate majority of the day so yes other than that Gemini has had a good day and I'm happy that he had a good day and yeah hey guys thanks for being here and thanks for keeping up with the lifestyle and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day make sure you like comment and subscribe because my content gets pushed out to awesome people like you to other awesome people and have a great day bye